Absolutely, and I'm hoping so. You know, and I want to be a help to that. Somebody at one at some at one point in my life helped me, so I want to be a help. So what I'm looking at is, you know, my shirt. I have Harriet Tubman on my shirt. I'm going to be like Harriet Tubman. I'm going back. I I may I may have made it, so I'm going to go back and reach and bring some other people up that are that um, are ready to take these seats and start fighting for regular everyday people to bring about a real change. The change that happens now, not all of this incremental stuff. There are things that can happen now, and so and there are people that are ready to push forward in that. We, you know, we, we need we need to do something different. So what you just heard there was Cori Bush earlier today on MSNBC, and she pulled not a single punch in that interview. Of course, you know now we covered it on the channel. She defeated Lacey Clay to overturn a 50-year corporate Democrat dynasty in St. Louis, Missouri, becoming one of the newest members of the unabashedly progressive people going to the Congress. She was endorsed by Jamal Bowman and Bernie Sanders and many local grassroots progressive activists, and she is bringing change. And what she was asked there was, what are you going to do? Is it possible to bring more people like you into the Democratic Party, into the congressional seats in Washington to actually get a Green New Deal, Medicare for All, and other policies like that actually in a position where they can be passed. And what she said, and you heard it, was that she was going to be like Harriet Tubman. She was going to not only achieve something for herself, not only achieve her own success in becoming a congresswoman, and it's basically guaranteed. Her district is deep, deep blue. She's almost certainly going to be in Congress, uh, you know, after November. But what she said was, I'm going to go back and bring people with me ready to take those seats. And that is is an absolute boss thing to say, guys, because we have to be real. There's always a risk when somebody gets elected to Congress, even on progressive values, that they become increasingly reluctant to rock the boat, that they themselves don't want to be primaried, that they themselves don't want to be marginalized from their new colleagues. They want to have some sort of relationship with the corporate centrists and center-right Democrats. They don't want to be a pariah in Washington on their first day. So they run as an anti-establishment hero. They run on bold progressive policy, but slowly over time, they become more and more timid. But you're not seeing that from Cori Bush. You're not seeing that at all. You're not even seeing her hold her cards closely to her chest so as to not know her next move. She's yelling it to the world. I'm going to Washington to fight for racial justice, economic justice, social justice, environmental justice, political justice. She's going there to fight for working class people, the broad and diverse American working class. And she's not going to forget those that got her there. And she's not going to forget that there are Cory Bushes in every district in the United States. There are Cory Bushes in every state, in every city, in every suburb, even in many small towns and rural areas. There are progressive leaders that were never really given all that much of a chance by the media, by the corporate Democratic Party, by big money donors. And now, because of her, because of Bernie, because of so many others, what's happening is people are awakening. They're emboldening. They're getting more and more confident that regular working class people, and Cori Bush is a nurse who's experienced homelessness in the past, regular working class people can make big changes. And what she realizes when she says what she said is, it's going to require not just, you know, winning elections against Republicans. Certainly, you have to defeat Republicans if you want to get this done. You can't have a Republican in the White House and pass Medicare for all, almost certainly at least. And so you got to do that, but you got to go beyond that. And you have to actually replace corporate big money, anti-Medicare for all, anti-Green New Deal, anti-working class Democrats wherever you can 
and put people like Cory Bush and others into the Congress. When you wonder what a person is going to be like when they get legitimized, look to someone like Cory Bush. Look to her. This was her perfect opportunity to pivot. Big interview, MSNBC, a lot of corporate Democrat types watching, probably people in the party watching her very closely right now, trying to gauge if if they can corrupt her, if they can bring her into the corporate fold, looking at her very closely. And in one of her first big interviews, just a couple days after the election, she makes it clear, I am fighting for the liberation and emancipation of the American working class And I will bring along those that are going to fight with me. And I will remove those that are a barrier to that glorious future that we all deserve. Corey Bush, guys, my goodness. Like, this sort of flew under my radar. I feel really bad, and I'll I'll own this, that I didn't do enough to talk up Corey Bush before, you know, she won. That's, That's my bad. I made a mistake there. But when I see her When I see her compared to Jamal Bowman and Mondaire Jones, and this isn't me, you know, casting, you know, negatives on those guys, but, you know, she has been by far the strongest of these new progressive winners in saying, yeah, I'm going to Washington. Yeah, I'm there for working class people. I'm there for marginalized people. And yeah, I'm going to bring those like me with me. And yeah, that means we're going to have to take seats from those against me. Guys. Cori Bush, she's going to be great. I can't wait to see her develop into a national and maybe international leader for progressive causes.